Hey guys, welcome back to Casey's Backyard Wonder Emporium. Um, I took a short video of myself. I couldn't figure out how to turn the camera around, so yeah, I'm an amateur for sure. Anyway, I want to show you um, what's been happening this week. I have been working boo koodles of hours, so Richard has been taking over. Um, pardon the upside down canopy. Again, we had another casualty. There's that. Um, I'm gonna start over here. So all of this was dug up, laid some dirt down. He got some fancy fencing for it. This is where our sweet peppers are gonna go, probably two rows, hopefully. Um, eggplant's gonna go over here. Uh, potatoes are always, of course, already over there. We've got rosemary in the middle. Um, he had delivered, walk over here while I talk. Um, he had delivered on, what is today, Sunday? He had delivered on Friday 15 yards of cottonseed compost. Um, I think my last video I talked about what was in that. It's basically just um, the byproduct of gin, uh, pro processing cotton in the gin. Um, the cotton is a very high feeder, so it soaks up all of those nutrients. And the stuff that's left over is um, decomposed, decomposed. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's just compost. And now it's in our yard. So they finally got all of the sod up. It is over there in the corner of our fence um, because it was just so brittle. It was not going to be good to reuse and we're going to level out that area. Anyhow, um, he got more fencing put up. He got the cattle panels put up. This is where our cucumbers and pole beans are going to go. Um, in front of that, we're going to have tomatoes. And then in front of that, we're going to have squash and zucchini. Um, I'll walk around to the other side as well because he made a melon mound. I'm super excited about that because I love me some honeydew and cantaloupe. Um, this is just, um, ooh, look, look at that big old earthworm. Goodness gracious, Lord have mercy. Um, this is where we're going to enter for now. It just swings open. We're going to walk in. Well, here, I'll walk in now. No, you stay there, Hugo. Um, yeah, so pole beans cucumbers, tomatoes, and squash and zucchini. Um, I'd really like to put in some sunflowers somewhere because they're my favorite flower. I love them a lot. Um, I'm not sure. My son is a senior in high school. He still climbs this wall to go to school and I don't want to like block his way to going because he'll just do nothing but complain about walking around. Um, anyhow, this is the mound that was done with some of that dirt. I see a lot of little crawlers going around over there. Hugo, out! Hugo, out! 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 So we're going to have probably two to three each vine. Um, I'd have to do some research about how far apart they're supposed to be again. Um, I don't think very far because we had them over there, right, right there, two years ago. And those cantaloupe went crazy. We had probably four dozen cantaloupe, you guys. Jesus. I mean, so many. I didn't know what to do with it. I was giving them away. Um, strawberries. I am super excited about our strawberries. I, I'm, I want to learn how to make jam. Some strawberry jam with my peanut butter. That'll be delicious. Spinach is looking very, very healthy. Um, once those start to actually get bigger and form actual spinach leaves like you can eat, we're going to put in more rows. Let me see what my finger is. More rows in between each. Um, I guess it's kind of like succession planting, um, just to keep the produce coming. And yeah, I'm super excited about all of this, you guys. Um, I think my next days off are Friday and Saturday. Sasha's hunting Hugo. He's not falling for it. My next day off is Friday and Saturday next week. Um, it's going to be a little bit cold. It's okay. Um, there's all of that dirt back there. Yeah, there's that. Okay. 
Um, we really need to get this in the ground. All of these plants in the ground next weekend. Um, and I need to write stuff in my garden journal um, that actually, surprisingly, his ex-wife gave me. Um, she's very thoughtful and I am just not that person, but I'm grateful that I have it because it's a 10-year garden journal and I can keep up with it, make notes, and I'm super excited. Hey, Sophie. I know. It's a neighbor's dog, Sophie. She's a little beagle. Super cute. Gorgeous little golden eyes. Anyhow, um, onions look are really good. Looking are really good. I'm not too sure about this gate, though. We're going to have to figure that out. I just, I don't know. I mean, he dug it so it could open and close. It just kind of now just hangs out right here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Just like we're figuring out everything. That's why I convinced myself along with some employees at work to start this YouTube channel. Number one, to keep up with um, our progress and to learn. And hopefully people will watch it and also learn from it. That's all, that's all I'm wanting to do. Um, I'm going to go look at my potatoes. I haven't looked at them today. I'm probably, they've only been in a week, Casey. They're not going to do anything. But, you know, it's always exciting to see new growth. I'm just, I just want to see little green sproutlets. That's all I want to see. It's so exciting. Knowing that you, like, grew these. Even I bought the seedlings. I went to my uh, tractor supply place here, TSC, Tractor Supply Company, who bought seedlings. Um, super cheap. Um, they're in the previous video. I had a picture of the bags. Um, I bought two four pound bags. I think it was only $11 and I had at least 30 potato seedlings in there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to document how many I keep, uh, or get from that. And hopefully it's a lot because I love potatoes. If anybody knows me, I absolutely love potatoes. Um, yes, mashed potatoes, fried potatoes, man, scallop potatoes, mashed potatoes, <laughs> a little Forrest Gump reference there, but it's just potatoes, not shrimp, oh no. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you guys. Our plants, I guess I can talk about the plants. We can go check them out. These here on the bench, these are ours that we're keeping. These are all the tomatoes. There's some peppers down there. Tomatoes, they look beautiful. We actually left them out overnight. First time, maybe second time out overnight. I'm not sure, but they did great. I checked on them this morning. They were beautiful. The soil still very moist. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm already have plans for what type of tomatoes I want to do next year. I would love to do some tomatillos. There's another one that I forget what it's called. I saw it on a uh, vlog last night. I think it was a Roots and Refuse vlog. Um, oh my gosh. It was a purple something. No, not purple. I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch it. I've already watched it like three times, so I'll have to go watch it again. But uh, yeah, Jess is amazing. I've learned a lot from her. We both have learned a lot from her. Oh, look, we got some little flowers. Awesome. Um, I know he did say he sold some plants yesterday, and one of the tomatoes already had like two tomatoes on it. Um, and some of the peppers already had peppers growing on it, so that's exciting. Let's go look at these babies over here. These are all the ones that are still for sale. We got Norwood Miners, Tigerilla, um, Romas, Cherokee Purple. The Cherokee Purple actually came um, from my sister. She sent me some of her tomatoes and I harvested some seeds from them and kept them. I'm not sure where she got hers, but I kept some seeds and every single seed I sowed, I am pretty sure germinated and we have plants from that. Some of these plants did not like it overnight. Oh, I thought they did. I checked on them this morning. They looked good this morning. Everything was wilted. No, it wasn't. 
Yeah, everything was like. Maybe when you came out. Well, I was out here about eight, seven thirty-eight. to get our pollinators. The plants in the big pots did well. Because the little ones, yeah. they didn't do too well. I don't know. It is a little chilly today. It's 57 right now. It's a little chilly for me. These are extra broccoli and cauliflower. Oh, this is my sister's plant. It's got a little green sticker on it. That's for you, Shannon. I am doing a video. Yes, I am. Um, I need to be there at 7. I have a very large order to take care of. Alright guys, there's our progress for the week. Awesome. Next weekend's going to be a big one. Bye.